What about you? What's your morning routine? Morning, everyone. Hello, this is Sheila and Sylvia in cold Munich, Germany. Good morning. Did you say coffee? Then it's a good morning. My morning routines? Uh, oh well, normally I get up at about 7 o'clock. That's the hardest part because I snooze at least five times. And uh, while I'm having my coffee, I uh, check Facebook and I read the news. I sometimes do my medical exercises for my back and shoulder. Um, then I feed my cat. Not my cat too, but my real tongue cat. I have a quick shower, get dressed, and then I fetch the newspaper. That's followed by a brief uh, breakfast, which is only a bowl of yogurt and a glass of orange juice. The typical breakfast here in Munich would be some bun with jam and butter, which I love, but I can't have at the moment. I have stomach problems, so I eat something like porridge, which is not bad, but I would like to have the Bavarian breakfast or even vice versa which are those white sausages that you can eat sometimes. Uh, my favorite one is toast with mashed avocado and some slices of tomatoes. From time to time, some pieces of cheese, salted cheese on it. Usually it's a plain breakfast, like fried eggs and a slice of bread, milk and fla uh, oat flakes. And uh, the sweets, I try to leave it for later on because I cannot stop with just one sweet. After 1000 words, maybe I'm entitled to a something nice, something sweet for me. When I feel like having something sweet, I'm making a chia pudding with chia seeds, almond milk, some slices of fruit like bananas. In the summer, I put some berries, fresh ones. Um, just very them, but those are my favorites. Before I start my work day, um, I make breakfast for my family, and if I have a few more moments, I uh, play uh, Beat Saber in VR. When I have time, time enough to, to enjoy my coffee, I love to read. I hope I will finish by the end of the year this diary of a girl, girl hard to please which is from the 1930s, 1940s. This year was exclusively dedicated to literature. I do it, li read literature. Um, this, uh, this is my favorite for, for this year. Harper Lee, How to, read, How to Kill a Mockingbird. And also I have my pile, just half of the pile of my Tsundoku books that I keep uh, buying and hopefully I will read them during my lifetime. While I drink my coffee, I uh, browse through some Swedish uh, news sites, that's about two or three newspapers, and one from a uh, TV broadcaster, and um, that's like 15 or 20 minutes, and when I'm done with that, then I can start my work. When I'm finally in front of my screen, I do what every guide for efficient work management tells you not to, I go through my email. But okay, I will be able to kick that habit by the time I retire, I hope. Uh, so, and then I start working. What's your most used app besides Capitals? The apps I use besides Capitals are Zoom and Skype. Next to my cat tools, I also use a very useful app, which is called Word Finder. This is a Swedish app 
which is a collection of different glossaries in different language combinations, of course, and within different fields. It helps me a lot to find uh, terms in different fields and all this can be handled within a blink of an eye. So I save a lot of time. Very, very useful. At the moment it's Duolingo, I don't know if you're familiar with that, it's free, it's for language learning and I, I, I decided some weeks ago that I want to tackle something totally different, so I'm learning Chinese now. And guess what? I have a streak of 45 days already and you can earn hearts and gems, gems which is not my thing but it's kind of nice with the app, it sort of motivates you. So try it, Duolingo, it's free. What's your translator superpower? Oh, that's a tricky question. Um, I know how to procrastinate. Uh, I don't know if it's a superpower, but I'm the great procrastinator if I have no tight deadline on the horizon. And the main thing is that we won't earn any money from that kind of activity. I have uh, developed the skill of sometimes reading a patent attorney's mind when it's not in the words on the paper, but you can see it in the drawings. I know how to use Google properly, not only searching, but also finding. Because today you get too many hits, you get too many search results. So the problem is that you are not really sure what's relevant for your translation. And I know how to filter and see properly, so in the end, there are only like two or three results left for me, which is perfect. What project are you working on right now? The project I'm working right now is the English translation of uh, some Romanian documents that are going to be used as evidence in federal court. It's a little confidential, but let me just tell you, it's within industry, it's within packaging, it's within filling these packages with uh, food stuff, for example, or even pets food. Does it count as food? Yeah. And uh, I normally work within technical fields, so in this case there is a uh, handbook which needs to be translated from German into Swedish, which is my main language pair. Uh, these days I had some Covid-related uh, projects, of course, what else, but also I have some quality management procedures and I have my unionist translations, as I like to call them, and they are about climate changes, environment and wines. What is the first thing you're going to do when the pandemic restrictions are over? I think that's a no-brainer for me, like for most people. I just want to travel and it would even be cush, except I need to be by the sea and you are too far away from the sea, you guys. Mm -hmm. Well, the restrictions. Once they are over, I will pack my suitcase and go for a longer tour. After the pandemic restrictions are lifted, I would like to take the tour of Romania. And I know that for me, pandem the pandemic is only an excuse not to do it right now. I would like to start from Bucharest with friends and meet friends along the way. When uh, this uh, pandemic is over, I'm gonna take my family on a day trip to Vancouver, Canada. And combining work, travel, meeting new friends and old friends, and now and then having a beer o'clock, it seems to be the perfect arrangement for me. So let's have that in mind and let's meet soon. Bye now, gotta go to work. Thank you for watching us and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn and read our articles on translatecluj.com. Cheers and happy holidays!